Good, yep. Good, 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 good. So, um, talk a little bit about your decision to call it quits. Um, so I got the most recent concussion at the end of November, um, and then once I got to where I was symptom free, I started kind of having those fun meetings with the doctors where, you know, this they do this every time where they kind of give you the recommendation and they make sure you know what you're risking if you choose to continue playing and all those things. Um, but this time it was a little different. I could tell they were taking it pretty seriously and um, we finally just had this big meeting. It was actually right after the Northwestern game with both of our athletic physicians, um, the head athletic trainer, our trainer Christian, Coach Kelly, my parents were there because they said, yeah, they're here, they can come. And um, it was very obvious from all the professionals in the room that uh, they were strongly urging me to you know, very, consider my health because with concussions, especially now, there's constantly new stuff coming out. Um, there's so many unknowns and there's there's a lot of scary stuff involved in it. And, um, you know, there's a lot of life left after basketball. So is it really worth putting yourself back out and risking, you know, potentially hurting yourself for the rest of your life? What kind of support have you gotten from your teammates? Oh, um, the entire team. It's been incredible, you know. My teammates are constantly just making sure I know that I'm still important to this team and that they need me to just be encouraging and um, they've always really a lot of our post players especially our young girls have always come to me like with questions and so they they're constantly telling me like we still need you you're still important to this team and the coaches have kind of taken me in as an extension of their staff and the managers are always giving me something to do if I look forward and helping with the shot clock so I mean just all around the entire program's really kind of taken me into their arms. You said that they were still going to let you run, but you opted out of that. Yeah, yeah, I decided, you know, <laughs> I'll get my own workouts. And I actually am still lifting with the team because Abby's my lifting partner, and I don't want to leave her as an orphan. So I'm still lifting, um, and I can, you know, run if I decide I would like to, but I kind of might pick and choose those moments. Can you tell us just a little bit about... It's, this isn't your first concussion, and, yeah. uh, and what happened earlier before you even got here? Yeah. It's actually uh, number 14, this last one was, um, and I, I mean, I came to college with six or seven, so um, some of those have been car accidents, some of them were like, soccer as a kid, I was a goalie, you know, you know, just as a person, as a player, I've always been very headfirst. Um, I always, I, I can't help it. Kelly said that in our meetings that if I chose to keep playing, there's not a whole lot she can do besides pulling me out of drills to keep me safe. Because when you throw me on the court, I just have this motor and I can't shut it off. Um, so there has, it's just, most of them happen. Um, I'll just be running in for an offensive board and I'm going head first to the basket where all the other people are. And, um, it just happens. I don't know. I've always wondered why it happens so much to me, and I'm glad it doesn't happen to other people, but um, it's, I guess, it's something that's just kind of been out of my control. Is, I mean, is it, do you, do you feel like you were robbed of your last semester? It, it is, it really sucks that, you know, I'm a senior, I've got two months left. Um, and part of that, you wonder if that makes it better, oh, it's only two months, or you wonder if that makes it worse, because you're right there but um, part of what made my decision so easy is that the team is playing so well right now and I just feel so confident in their ability to be successful without me on the court. Can you just talk about when you had to tell the team that you were? It was really hard. Um, I after our big meeting with the doctors they kind of gave me a rough deadline of the 26 to have made a decision just I think to give me some time to think about all of it but still have a little sense of urgency um so I kind of decided the Monday night before the Alabama game I was actually in um Leanne's room talking about everything and I I knew what I had to do but I wasn't ready to accept it yet um so over then our Christmas break I started practicing <laughs> saying it out loud um sat down and told my family during you know, all of our Christmas stuff and kind of practiced because I knew you know nothing would prepare me to have to tell my teammates um, but I came back on the 26th and we sat down and it was really hard but I did it and they've all been very supportive you're graduating with a degree in marketing yeah. so you got a future that way I do I actually got a call at my first interview Tuesday so I'm excited you know um, 
it's good I've got stuff going on I'm staying busy and it's a nice reminder that there is a lot of life after basketball and I still have a lot of things to be excited about how old are you 21 22 in February have you yeah. thought about this is a really tough decision I feel like for a lot of athletes mm -hmm. to make have you thought about um, how that's gonna kind of make you a role model for other girls yeah I know that especially now this is just becoming something that's more and more relevant every day especially with football um, I know that there's a lot of people that are kind of encountering the same situations that I've had to face right now so I do think there's a chance that in the future um, people may kind of use me as a role model or a token for this this um, big issue but and I'm, I'm open to that I do I I would like to help the cause however I can because it's something that's affecting me and if there's anything I can do to help other people through it I would like to do that do you feel any of those symptoms that are discussed uh, often with yeah I don't like I'm good I'm fine I'm normal um, I think sometimes I can tell that my normal now isn't what my normal used to be and I'm still fine and normal, but it's one of those things that's in the back of your head that, you know, this is affecting me and who knows what the long-term effects could be. So I'm fine now, but why would I risk going out and getting another concussion and then not being fine? Does that still scare you? Or? It does, but um, luckily I'm very strong in my faith. So I know that God is kind of watching over me and he's going to take care of me regardless of the circumstances. So that that really just helps bring me peace with the situation.